In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove the complete gear selector mechanism from the car. Using a flat point screwdriver, push down on the lower trim piece as far as it will go. Pull out the release button until resistance is felt. Keep the release lever in this position, then pull up on the shift knob to take it off. Now this can be easier said than done. This is on here very tight. I find it easier to put the pliers underneath the bottom of the knob, then push down on the pliers to apply force to pop the knob off. To explain how the mechanism works. You must pull up on the plastic piece to move the gear selector out of park position. The plastic piece has a hole in it similar to the eye of a needle. In the knob, there's a little lever that goes through the hole of this plastic piece and when you push on the button it will lift the plastic piece up allowing you to move out of park position and go to drive. You can see this here with my demonstration. To remove the shift knob the lever has to be out of the hole so when you pull out the button from the knob you're actually pulling out the pin out of the hole so the knob could come off. If the lever is still in the hole the knob will not come off. Now this part should be self-explanatory. Using a flat point screwdriver, unclip four tabs and remove the Tiptronic cover piece. Disconnect the harness from the cover piece. Disconnect the harness from the shift lock solenoid. This one was disconnected before I start recording the video. Now here comes the hard part. To remove the cable, you must pull up on this clip while at the same time sliding the whole cable to the right as far as it will go and then it will come out. I cannot demonstrate the process because I have to hold the camera. You actually need two hook, one to pull up on the clip and the other one to move the whole cable assembly over to the right. Or you could use your hand to move the whole cable assembly to the right and just use one hook to pull up on the clip. Whichever way to go. They both work. This bolt that I'm loosening right now is to adjust the cable. Just put it back to the factory position based on the imprint that the bolt make. <laughs> Here's a close up view. This is the end of the cable. The end of the cable goes over this pin inside the selector mechanism. Once the cable is detached from the selector mechanism, loosen four 10 millimeter nuts and push the whole selector mechanism out the bottom of the car. This cable is stiff and seems to just want to stay in the middle position. When installing, you have to sort of use your thumb to curve the cable all the way over to the right so that it could line up with the slot, then push it forward and then slide it back to the left to get it back in. Reinstall the knob the same way how you take it off. Pull the button outwards and then push downwards. Thanks for watching.